What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we kicked the butt, took some names, did a little bit of visits and all that crud, and now it is finally time for us to go back to Lavender Town, because, well, we got the Silscope. Might as well do it, right? Yeah, we kind of have to do it. Uh, in this episode, yes, we're going to be going up against a lot of ghosts. Scary ghosts. But now we're going to be able to see them, too, because, well, you know, we got the Silvscope and all that crud. And, uh, well, let's see. What else do we have to do right here? Yes, we still have a gym leader to beat. We still have a lot of stuff to do, like level up our Pokemon, because, come on. It's like this is uh, completely different for me. Not having overpowered Pokemon. I did promise you guys I was going to make it a little bit better right here. And, well, I'm not going to do that right there, because... We still need those two individuals for the cheats that we're about to do later on in this whole walk right here. If you guys don't remember, yes, I'm going to be doing the Mew Glitch, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to be doing the Professor Oak Battle right there. That way, everything has, uh, every stone has been turning, if you guys know what I'm talking about right here. So, let's go right ahead and continue on to Lavender Town, and it's scary as usual. Last time we were here, we actually defeated Gary, and we, what, what was it? We took advantage of, uh, yeah, we took advantage of the ghosts right here, but there are a lot of ghosts, but now that we got the Silscope, we'll be able to see which ghosts are here and there and all that crud, but unfortunately, we're gonna have to be looking out for these guys right here, the Chandlers, because, well, they've been possessed by something. Now, let's see. Oh, would you look at that? We found ourselves a Ghastly. And, well, initially I wanted to actually capture a Ghastly, put him on my team, and evolve it into Gengar just because, well, you know, I've never really tried that. I've always I've always captured a Gengar or a, a Ghastly and, and named it, what was it, uh, Smoke, but <laughs> never really kept it on my, on my team. So what was going to happen right here is we're going to start training our Pokemon because, well, we got a gym battle coming up. A lot of these, uh... Chandlers are possessed. Remember, they are possessed, and as you can see, bam, Chandler wants to fight. Coming out with the Ghastly. Remember, in Generation 1, normal type Pokemon or physical type moves cannot affect these guys. And just like that, they lick us, and luckily for us, we do not get paralyzed. But there we go, Bubble Beam hitting it hard, and its speed's gone down, so let's go again with another Bubble Beam. Let's go Speedo Torpedo, and another more, or well, more speed has been going down. Now, if you're facing a ghost type Pokemon, especially a Generation 1, just realize that these, these kinds of Pokemon like to mess with you, and, well, just like that, I'm saved. And what do you have to say for yourself? The ghost can be identified by the Silscope. Hmm. Okay, alright, so... Let's go with Godzilla, Godzilla. Now, remember, you're taking on some ghost-type Pokemon right here who are also poison-type Pokemon, so don't be afraid to use that, you know, that psychic-type Pokemon right there, even though they're supposed to be stronger than them. And, well, here we go. Evil Spirit be gone, and here we go, taking on another Chandler, and this guy will be, or this chick, I guess, will be coming out with a Ghastly. And let's go, Dragon Rage for the win. Well, not really. And it took the majority of his HP, and here comes a Nightshade attack. Holy crud. Nightshade hits us. Nightshade nearly beats us. But here we go with an Ember attack right here. And just like that, Ghastly has been defeated. I'm feeling good. And, well, look at that. Level 27, Godzilla, Godzilla. Okay, so what we're trying to do now, too, is to try and power up Godzilla because, well... The next gym leader is going to be a grass type trainer, and that right there is going to be a scary one. So here we go, another Chandler coming with a Ghastly, and well, Godzilla, Godzilla is ready to go. Let's go with another Amber attack right here. Now again, remember, physical type attacks such as Karate Chop, a Mega Punch, any of those, or Scratch attack for, uh, for that being. It's not going to work. So what's going to happen right now is I'm actually going to switch out my Pokemon because we got confused again. Yeah, I hate this confusion race. So let's go Thunderbolt, see if this actually wins. And no, it got hurt. Holy crud. Leah is in trouble. So here we go. Come on, Leah. There we go. Thunderbolt attack for the win. And no, that was not for the win right there. Holy crud. Okay. Come on. And yes. Yeah, we're going to 
yeah, we're gonna keep on getting hit right here. So we gotta hit it one more time. Thunderbolt. And just like that, Ghastly has been defeated. Like I said, guys, these ghost type Pokemon like to mess with you. And, well, hmm, what am I doing? Yeah, you're attacking me for no apparent reason. Okay, so that's three right there. Now we gotta go into the next room. And, uh, like always, guys, make sure to make some space into your onto your bag because, well, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of items right around here. And be cursed with me! Gwah! Oh, wow. Kind of scary right there. So, here we go. Chandler wants to fight again, and uh, they will be coming out with a Ghastly. So, let's go with Godzilla, Godzilla, and let's go straight for the Dragon Rage attack. And look at this. Dragon Rage, majority of your HP, and, well, we're going to be suffering the consequences with a little Confused Ray. So, let's go with an Ember attack. Come on, work for it. Use the Force, young one. And there we go. Godzilla has... Uh, is kicking some butt right there. So here comes another good Ghastly. So let's go ahead and switch it out to Terramon again. Again, these Pokemon right here are also poison type Pokemon. And I do believe, do believe that, you know, Levitate does not work right here. So let's go ahead, dig attack, super effective. And there you go, Ghastly has been defeated. What now? Okay, all right, all righty then, and well, there goes another Pokemon trainer, and let's see what this is all about. Yes, we found an elixir. If you guys haven't noticed, if you guys haven't noticed, I've actually, you know, I actually do save my ethers and my elixirs for, you know, these kinds of situations right here, especially for the Pokemon League, because all, there's only so many, and then you got HP ups right here, where, you know, you can actually power up your Pokemon, or... Yeah, you power up your Pokemon or sell it for a good price. That way you can actually buy some more things. All right, let's take on this Pokemon right here. All righty, bring it. So here we go. Chandler wants to fight, and, well, he's coming out with a Ghastly. And, well, Ultra Psycho is about to take its turn right here. So let's go with a Confusion attack. And, well... Here's one of the things that baffles me about this right here, guys, is that ghost-type Pokemon are supposed to be weak against... Or psychic-type Pokemon are supposed to be weak against ghosts. But yet, there's only so many ghost-type moves. It's kind of a, it's kind of ridiculous. And on top of that, uh, you got a ghost-type Pokemon who's also a poison-type Pokemon. Which is... Uh, yeah, that's... that's uh, <laughs> it's kind of weird right there. It's on. Okay, so here we go, taking on another Chandler, and here we go, going up against Ghastly. Okay, so let's go straight for a Confusion Attack. Eventually, Ultra Psycho is going to learn some more powerful moves right here. And that Ghastly is, uh, yeah, this one's a strong one right here, so getting confused again. Come on, come on, and there we go, Confusion Attack does it again. Alrighty, okay, alrighty. And say hello to level 26 for all old, our old Ultra Cycle right here. And, well, we're all the ghost. I do not know. Okay. Now, most of these trainers are going to be telling you that they've been possessed. I obviously believe it. And, well, we're going to be getting attacked by another Pokemon right here. And it is a Ghastly, but it's at level 26 right here. Hmm. I almost want to catch it just, just for, you know, the heck of it. So here we go, confusion attack, and yes, it's at appropriate. It's at an appropriate, which we'll call it HP right here. So, oh no, wait, no, I was about to say, dang. Okay, so let's go, great ball, go. Let's get it. Two, three, and there we go, guys. We have caught ourselves a ghastly, and well, let's go ahead and take a look at its p. Uh, it's a, it's a you know thing right here. So here we have Ghastly, the gas Pokemon. Said to appear in descripted, deserted buildings, it has no real shape as it appears to be made of gas. And, well, yes, we're going to be nicknaming this Pokemon, yet we're not going to be using him on our team, but let's go ahead and uh, nickname this guy. After another Moto Combat character, I bequeath you the name Smoke. Yeah, there we go. Now transfer to the PC. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's battle some more and then heal up our Pokemon afterwards. So, let's go right ahead and switch this Pokemon to 
You guessed it. Godzilla, Godzilla. Alrighty. Bring it. Alrighty, so here we go. You shall join us. I don't know what that means, but okay. Whatever. Here we go, taking on another Chandler, and, uh, well, Chandler's coming out with his Gassy, or her Gassy, I don't even know if it's a he or her. Comment down below, guys. And, let's go straight for the Dragon Rage Ember kind of combo. And, just like that, we're taking a lot of HP, and, well, there's that Nightshade attack that never really works, and that's a good move right there, but here we go, Ember attack, for the win! And there you go, guys. We have defeated another Chandler. Yeah, buddy. What a nightmare. It was. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, we're going to battle most of the Chandlers right here and then he get healed up because what's the point of getting healed up and then battling the Chandlers when you know they're going to mess with you? Okay. So here we go. Another Chandler. And here comes a Haunter for the first time okay so this one's gonna be a little difficult because Haunter is a very powerful Pokemon just right there and uh, well this Haunter is looking at me all weird cockeyed and everything and uh, ooh, that was a critical hit and we are paralyzed so that is probably the good reason to why I decided to uh, yeah not heal the Pokemon because I don't want to waste any of my materials right now and just like that we have defeated another Haunter and well look at that okay so godzilla godzilla needs to switch out let's go straight back to ultra psycho and find these other guys right here there's there might be another item right here somewhere yes look at that we found it found ourselves a nougat and we got two more trainers to battle too hey right, bring it zombies okay so here we go taking on another chandler and well there there's that gassy okay gassy you're looking uh you're looking pretty cool but guess what ultra psycho and his confusion attack now let's see i think i know what i'm gonna do in the next episode and it's 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 probably a little a little crazy mainly mainly because my pokemon are so under leveled right now but it's for the it's for the better of these, this whole thing right here. And that is, we're probably going to go to Saffron City just so we can actually battle some more trainers, you know, in the, what was it called, uh, in the, whatchamacallit, uh, the, the, the fighting dojo. And, well, here we go, taking on another Chandler, and uh, this person is coming out with a Haunter right here. All right, Terramon, let's get it. A dig attack, and, well, there's that Lick attack. Of, of course, Terramon's going to be a little slow, and we're paralyzed. That's usually awesome right there. And there we go. Dig attack for the win. Okay, alrighty. And, uh, well, it's another victory for us right there. Another moral victory. I don't know what the moral is, but it's still something. So let's go right ahead and get healed up. Bam! Enter, fire. Enter the purified zone. My Pokemon are fully healed. Let's go. Okay, so... The repel has worn off, so let's get the heck out of here. Let's go ahead and use another repel while we're at it. And uh, there you are. Okay, so let's move on right here. I think this is the final floor before we actually get to take on some more trainers. And, well, just like that, we're getting attacked by this person. Give me blood. Uh-huh. Okay, alrighty. So here we go, taking on a Chandler again with their ghost at Pokemon. And here comes Terramon. Okay, Terramon, let's go with a dig. And yes, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get licked a lot. And that doesn't sound right. But here we go, dig attack for the win. And just like that, another another Pokemon has gone to level 30, and that is Terramon. Now let's try and get everybody else into level 30 because uh, we kind of need it. So let's go straight to Godzilla, Godzilla. Alrighty. Let's go. Bring it. Dragon Rage. Let's go, Dragon Rage. And that nearly takes his HP. All of it. And, well, there goes a Nightshade again, right? Well, okay, so yeah, you're gonna... You're gonna do that, but guess what? Here comes the Ember Attack for the win. Okay. And say hello to level 28 for Godzilla, Godzilla. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right now. Let's go straight to Ultra Psycho. 
And... Alrighty, okay, alrighty. Let's go. Straight for a confusion attack. And... Just like that, Ghastly has been defeated. There we go. Look at that, look at that, okay. And that's a groan, that is a big-ass groan. And well, let's go ahead and grab this, and we found ourselves an X accuracy, which could be beneficial for all of us right here. Okay, bring it. Key, 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 key. Hmm. Okay, so here we go, taking on another Chandler. And this time, yes, we are going with Terramon right here, and let's go for, straight for a dig attack, and well, Again, this is what this is what happens when you're slow. We're gonna get hurt a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out. Let's go straight to Ultra Psycho. And well, Ultra Psycho's right here. And it doesn't affect me. But guess what? Here goes the confusion attack. Mm-hmm. Confusion attack. Does its trick. Would sure love it to learn another strong uh, psychic type move. And, well, there goes uh, Chandler, and he's like, KEY! Okay, let's switch it out. Let's go straight to Godzilla, Godzilla again. And, well, let's see what else we can actually find right here. There are a lot of goodies. Lots and lots of goodies, and BAM! Here comes another Oofqua. Okay, so here we go. Another Chandler waiting to fight us. And, well, let's see. Gassy looking pretty legit. Godzilla looking pretty legit. Let's go with the Dragon Rage attack. Okay. Dragon Rage nearly does it, and good gravy. Good gravy. Okay, so there's a critical hit. Luckily for us, we don't get paralyzed. And just like that, what now? Okay, alrighty. And, well, yeah, something fell out. I don't even know what that is. So let's go ahead and grab this. And we have found ourselves a rare candy. And, well, let's see, before we go anywhere further, there's a little somebody there waiting for us. So let's go straight to Speedo Torpedo, and... Okay, alrighty, so... Try to enter the stairway right here, and you'll see... Be gone! Intruders! Uh-oh. And here we have a ghost, and the Silscope unveiled the ghost identity, and it happens to be... A Marowak. Now, the only part about this is that we cannot capture this Marowak. So, we're going to have to defeat this guy right here. And, well, just like this, Bubble Beam really hits it hard. Takes half its HP, but here comes a Bone Club attack. Holy crud, it's, uh, yeah, nearly defeated. Oh, wow! Wow, this Pokemon, uh, no joke. No friggin' joke. Okay. Let's go. Godzilla, Godzilla. Bring it. Dragon Rage Attack for the win. And just like that, Marowak has been defeated. And the ghost was the restless soul of Cubone's mother. The mother's soul was calm. It departed to the afterlife. And yeah, Pikachu or Aaliyah does not like this. Yeah, she does not like being here. So uh, let's see. I think I do have some revives right here. Let's see. Revives? Yes, I do. And let's go ahead and give that to Torpedo. And what else do we need to do? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah, Super Potions. Yes, let's go ahead and give a Super Potion to this guy. Let's go ahead and give a Super Potion to that guy. And, well, let's see, let's see. What else do we need to do right here? All right, let's go ahead and switch out to Godzilla because we already know what's, what's going to come up next. Prepare for trouble. Stop right there. Mm-hmm. Grandpa here wanted to complain, so we set it in straight. So render yourself invisible or prepare to fight. Okay. Alrighty. Bring it. So here we go, guys. Taking on another Rocket or Team Rocket. And they're going to be coming out with a level 27 Meowth right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and just destroy these Pokemon right here. So a Growl attack is going to be hit. But luckily for us, Dragon Rage is not affected by this. And look at that. Okay, so let's go with one more Dragon Rage. Trying to lower all of my stats right here. And there we go. Finish him. Okay, and now they're going to be coming out with an Arbok right here because, well, why not? Arbok is a little crazy looking. 
And there we go. Cha buck. Getting the bite attack right there from Yowl Screech, and it's a critical hit, so let's go again. Another Dragon Rage attack. And just like that, Arbok has been defeated. And well, Godzilla Godzilla grows to level 29 right here. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon now. Let's go straight for Ultra Psycho. Bring it. And well, let's see, Ultra Psycho ready to go. Let's go straight for a confusion attack. And wow, wheezing. Weezing is a little toughy right here. So here we go, and again, Confusion for the win. And there goes Weezing. And there's a thousand experience points. And just like that, Ultra Psycho grows to level 27. Learning Psybeam, look at that. Okay, we got a better move now. Bring it. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete that Confusion. And just like that, we got ourselves Psybeam, finally, okay. And well, the Rockets. You will regret this! Mmm, maybe. Looks like Team Rock is blasting off again! Alright. So normally, in Pokemon Red and Blue, and possibly Green, you'll find about three Team Rocket members waiting for you right here, but... Yellow, same incarnation of Pokemon, uh, the series. Let's go ahead and talk to, to Professor... F or, not Professor Fuji, that's what he used to be. Mr. Fuji right here. Huh! You came to save me! Thank you, but I came here all, uh... uh I came here of my own free will. I came to calm the soul of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak Spirit has gone to the afterlife. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, my Pokemon house, or the Pokemon house, in the, at the foot of this tower. Okay. Okay, so here we are in the Pokemon tower, or no, the Pokemon house. And, well, that's a Psyduck right there. Let's go right ahead and talk to, per or to Mr. Fuji. Draven, your Pokedex quest may fail without love for your Pokemon. I think this may help you in your quest. And well, just like that, we don't have space in our in our in our you know bag. So let's go right ahead and give that rare candy to Godzilla. So there you go, another Pokemon at level 30. And yes, we're not gonna cycle right here. So let's go ahead and grab this. Yes, he's gonna explain to us what we what this all means. And bam, we received a Poke Flute. Upon hearing a Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. It works on all sleeping Pokemon. Great. Fantastic. So it looks like we have a chance to wake up a, a few certain Pokemon right here. Now, I thought it over. In the next in the next episode, yes, we will be going to Saffron City. And we're going to be taking on the Fighting Dojo. Uh, there's still gonna, there's a lot of things that I still want to do before we hit the, before we hit, uh, the fourth gym. Pokemon are extremely under level, so I kind of want to just, like, you know, increase that stuff. So, I will be back for another episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to click that notification button, subscribe button, all them fun stuff right there. And if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, link's down in the description. Thank you guys again. I will see you guys next time.